YouTube, Jackson here with the Fode Boys. Wes, Parker, Evan. We just got the So Easy track lacrosse frame from Squid. We're super stoked to build it up. If you guys follow no Foad at all, you know that these guys are shredding on the mountain bikes, and so I had to get them back on the fixed gear somehow. We're stoked to build these up, but first things first, we gotta paint them up. That's part of Squid's whole thing. You paint your own frame. So we got a bunch of paints from Spray Bike, making a lot of mistakes. <laughs> at least I am. Well, let's do it. Cut! Okay. There's gonna be a few cuts in there. Future Self coming in. This video is more of a vlog, so if you came here strictly for the information you want it right now you can skip to this time code but I think you'll enjoy hanging out with us you'll learn a lot from our mistakes you'll get to see the hands-on process on another note I want to give a big shout out to squid they're a super rad grassroots company the so easy is a track lacrosse frame it's obviously built for dirt but it's also just a really burly do anything fix gear frame our boy Chase Davis also got a squid he wasn't able to do the painting with us but he's gonna be fucking shredding the builds have come out really sick gonna be dropping a video on that soon let's get back Back to the video. What's your paint job gonna be? Black on black. Gloss, Foad logos with matte black, everything else. Frankenstrat, like Eddie Van Halen <laughs> guitar. Do some kind of camo, a little nervous. I'm doing like a weird squiggly pattern. It's all gonna be an experiment. I'm gonna read through a couple of the tips that Squid told me. Two to four inches away. We don't have to prime. We've already got the ED coating on there. We're supposed to sand it down with 800 or 300 grit. Evan and I are do both doing vinyl stickers, so we gotta wait. Shake the can for at least three minutes. 60 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which it's a little bit hot. Water, but it's at least dry. All right, let's do it. First, we gotta sand her down. None of us sanded down our frames. We were too excited to paint, and we all regretted it. Make sure it's straight as hell. It's looking crooked as shit on here. All right, Wes is wilding out. He's just painting it. I'm not wilding out. This is the paint studio, by the way. Air outtake right here. Turn that guy on. Three minutes, bro. You're not as scared about this as I am. The moment's true. All the way close up in there. Ooh, you don't have your mask on, bro. Get out of here. Nice job, Wes. Can I just paint the frame, this frame, really quick? You don't care if I get shit in here or you no, want me to take look it Look at the dropout. How did that happen? I don't even remember. You could just stick the fork in the dirt. That's true. What? No, 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 no. Here, Wes. That's not gonna work. Nice, bro. Let's try to do this, Wes. Help me. Go slower. That shit comes out really fast. Parker That's doing a test run. Much too thick. Nice Pokemon hat. Gotta catch them all. I already did my way too thick. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we got our first fuck up. Oh man, Evan. Hey, these weren't my stripes. Oh, Orange is only for the stencil. Yeah. You actually did a really good job with the fade. Well, I'm not, I wasn't trying to fade it. No, I know. I'm just saying you did. Wes is doing the gloss now. Feel this guy. Ooh, that is not very good. I think your concept's gonna work. Yeah, me too. I'm just seeing how deep this clear penetrates into the mat. So this is Evan's camo. Is it working? I think so. My, shoes are My stickers, I'm worried they're not gonna be sticking down, so I'm gonna use lighter to get them all stuck. I started doing my vinyl stickers before the boys ever came over, so let's do a little rewind and take a look at that. I've pretty much wrapped the frame. It's like an elevation map. I'm gonna wrap that last little part. I bought a vinyl cutter. One for this project. I also wanted to make some flat stickers. So this is the hard part. AG Silver. All right, here it goes. Tell me if I'm fucking up. Yeah, you're fucking up. What do I do? You woke up this morning. What's up, bro? Getting high over here on the thing. Oh! <laughs> it's a new frame. I don't want to fuck it up. It's gonna get fucked up anyway, right? Yeah, that's true. I think this lens is gonna be fucked after this. Yeah, it might be. From all the overspray. Two coats done. Ooh. Custom little fork holder. Evan's still wrapping. Parker's still wrapping. Hey, dude. Evan's making some more stickers. You don't got a very straight hand to learn. Yeah, they look good. Oh, Put no. this one over. The other way. <laughs> No, I think this way will work better. He's <laughs> black again? <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Towards us, because you're yeah. going to blow it up. <laughs> it just looks like... <laughs> so what are you doing now, Evan? The first hand layer. Look at, see how it comes out on the first one. Whoa. So sick already. Little squid guy. Dude, it smells so gnarly. I know. Look how many sparkles paint. Q-tip, pro tip. Get a Q-tip. Boop, beep, pro tip, Q-tip. Oh. So what's the logic behind the line placement? Uh, you know. We'll fucking see. One step at a time. I didn't even watch y'all. Like, you gotta help me out. Like. And like, yours is white, so I think you're gonna have to do a couple coats. Let me know if it smells bad, okay? Yeah. It smells bad. Ah, Holy bro. shit. Calling it a night. Good night.
Got my frame unpeeled pretty much. I've got these little empty bits on the bottom and right here. I'm gonna add some logos. I should have done that originally. I'm stoked on how this turned out. The lines turned out pretty dang clean. So here's my fork, got it all unwrapped. So I wanted to do a pink instead of the silver, but Squid was out, bought some just regular pink paint. When I did that test run, it just was all splotchy, so I decided to do the silver. I'm glad I did. This fork is just so sick. Kind of like vintage mountain bikey. Look at that tire clearance, baby. Hello. How are you? So Parker's not here, so I'm gonna finish it off. He went through a whole can of white last night, and we bought three more. Here we go. Frame looks good. All right, got my vinyl all cut out. Now I gotta take out all these little pieces. Now we're struggling with getting it to stick. I haven't had much better luck using permanent vinyl as opposed to temporary vinyl. It just didn't stick as well, and the permanent vinyl didn't end up taking off any paint when he peeled it off. Nice job. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I've been here almost done. How long did that take? <laughs> a long time. <laughs> Welcome back to the mix. Hey, what's up? I finally stickered up and masked everything off. Cool little stuff going down here. I'm gonna paint it up. Same silver as before. Definitely a pain in the ass to do it this way. Check out all this dust. So I'm doing a thicker coat and then I'll do like a kind of a finer top coat. Keep up the good work, Wes. Yeah, boy. Let's go for it. <laughs> Yours is going to be sick because no idea how yours is going to oh, look until the very end. No idea. All right, are you going to have enough paint to finish it? Hopefully. Evan, you got a whole mustard cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. Ready? I'm going to do this for three minutes. Here go. Hello, Matt. Super Matt. Harry is so mad. Probably the most consistent paint job I've ever done. Good job, bro. I'm hyped about this one. The last coat on the fork. Those two colors are gonna look sick together. Wes is just straight going for it. 20 minutes after. Moment of truth. Nope, not even close. Stop. I'm putting it back. I'm waiting. How'd it turn out? It's pretty good. Bro. All right, even though I was giving Wes shit, I'm gonna pull off my sticker. You're peeling? I'm peeling. Oh. I'm gonna have a hard time riding this bike because I'm not gonna want to fuck it up. Wi-Fi. See you tomorrow. Oh, hello. Hey. -o. Welcome to the party. Wi-Fi. <laughs> One last coat of white. The never-ending fucking white. I am your father. <laughs> well, I wasn't filming earlier, but I dropped Parker's bike. Well, it dropped under my supervision. Figure out how you're gonna mount your bike while you're painting it. This was something that we struggled with. We used a bike stand with an old seat post that we didn't care about painting, taped it on with masking tape. Those dropped, they fell. Tape was not sturdy enough. Gorilla tape did work though. Popeye, I'm Popeye spit it. Boop. You have the craziest style. Bro, your bike's gonna be like three pounds heavier than ours. <laughs> You've literally been in here for like 20 minutes. It's cause I got the mask on. Wi five. Day three tomorrow. Day three, Evan's here. Still waiting for Parker to show up. Still waiting for Wes. Wes is pretty much done. Evan's got one more layer. I'm gonna test out some splatters. Evan's got some more sticker to do. So I'm gonna test out some of this pink splatter on my BMX bike. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna try the splatter. I hope I don't fuck this up. Here goes nothing. There we go. Not as noticeable in the dark garage as it is out here. Welcome back. Oh hey, what's up? Why are you filming me? I'm all sweaty. Why not? Because I feel like I don't look presentable. You look very presentable. When do you ever look? <laughs> How's it looking, Wes? Real dusty. I'm handling it. Yeah, I need to sand it with the parchment paper. Did you pull that off, that sticker off yesterday? Yeah. It's gonna be like way visible. True. All right, I'm gonna start doing my blue flake gloss. Look at this. It looks so good. Bad look drips good. though. The sparkle. Yo. Ooh, that does look fucking good. Yo. Dude. That's a goddamn Damn lie. What? It's not so easy. <laughs> Way more visible than I thought, too. Yeah, same. Blow dry the frame after it dries so the stickers are all soft. Yeah, it works really good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try something crazy. All right, that was a bad idea. Parchment paper. Parchment paper, which you can get at your local grocery store, is an alternative to wet sanding. You do have to be careful when you use it because Wes ended up sanding through some of his matte paint. Is it working? Kind of knocks down like the the dust. The stencils are coming out good though. Yeah, yeah, most of them are doing like really good. Looks damn good. Nice bro. Finishing touches. Wi-Fi. So the boys are long gone. I decided I want to film like a little montage. Show off the paint job. For Wes, I'm gonna do this little flashy light thingy. Let's get to it.
your shoes now. They're still They're orange. They're still orange. Dude, it looks crazy. Oh, that might be a ton though. Dude, that actually looks pretty sick. No, it's not working. <laughs> there, we there you go. You, you gotta it sauce there. it up. <laughs> you can't aim. It just all misses it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh look, it made his eye. The part that came out. Yo. <laughs> I'm stoked. This little pop. Ooh. <laughs> Parker's in the house. Hey -o. What are you doing? Peeling off a little bit of black. And then, like, there's other spots where you, the white goes across, but the black is laid. That pops so sick, though. It does. <laughs> like, it's cool with the multiple colors going through it. Tell me what happened with yours. Just had to take off at least this many stickers. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> there's some, there's some, some over there. There's some over there. Okay. Now we just need to splatter it. I really like how the like, hand goes through right here. How long have you been taping your frame? Like total or today? <laughs> right now. <laughs> Probably like three, maybe about four hours. Evan's frame looking nice and shiny. Got all the nice splatter on there. Parker finally finished his frame. Taping he finished later. taping yeah. his frame. Yeehaw, baby. Dropping in. Countdown. Closer. This is really good paint. Holy shit. Dang, that's what your lungs look like after spray paint. Tell me one thing you learned. Just I wish I would have sanded before I put down the first coat. Good job, player. What have you learned? Frankenstrat is hard, and I want to just peel my paint! Using self-control, keep my cool. Evan's frame's all done. Let's roll the montage. Go. <laughs> uh. Parker's back! Yeah, baby! Ready to peel his frame. Peeling, baby. The grand reveal. Wes is here, too. Hi, Wes. Oh, oh damn! Kind of like, feels like a backpack shot. Like, you know how... You're not filming this. <laughs> I just wear this one for Satan though. Yo! One half of it and then the white makes a third. Five six. And then the black is one six. <laughs> I don't think that all of those equal one. I was trying to do the math, okay? Don't put the pattern behind it. Oh shit! That's dope as hell. I need to get like a background. Let's see the comparison. This is it! <laughs> I've been looking at this shit my whole entire life. I could have even done it without the picture. No, I'm glad I had the picture. Oh, big bang, bang, bang. Oh, fuck, bro. Fight down. Fresh paint. Not the fresh Not the paint. paint. Day 35. Parker, you gonna finish your bike tonight? Yeah. Clear coat. Yee Dude. Oh my god. That looks so sick. The damn. Ah, uh, right? It's like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how to do an at. Like that? Yeah, that's it. Action. Take two. Take two. Yeah, let's go. You really do flick the fucking wrist. Have to flick the fucking wrist? You gotta go quick! <laughs> Your stroke is so aggressive. Weed poop. And you could eat it and cure your cancer. Good job on your bike. Fucking yeah, babe. Parker's frame's all done. Let's roll the montage, baby. My frame's been done for a while. It took forever to dry, so I've just been running the fan on it. I caked it on way too thick. Like, literally, it's been like two weeks and it was still tacky. Let's uh, roll the montage.
let's do a quick summary of all the stuff that we learned. You should definitely, definitely, definitely sand. We totally regret not doing that. If your paint requires priming, you should definitely do that. Make sure you prep your area. You've got good airflow. You're not gonna get paint all over everything because it literally goes everywhere. Make sure that you wear a mask. It's super important for all you anti-maskers out there. Before you paint your frame, you can clean it with alcohol, although it's not recommended after you've done a layer because it can take off the paint. Some of the dudes did this and some of them didn't, but you should probably just tape your threads. It makes things easier in the long run. Figure out how you're gonna mount your frame and your fork while you're painting. We used a bike stand with an old seat post that we didn't care about painting, taped it on with masking tape. Those dropped, they fell. Tape was not sturdy enough. Gorilla tape did work though. Make sure that you paint in the optimal humidity and temperature. Usually the can will say right on it. In terms of just design choices, it's better to go with something a little bit more chaotic. Evans and Chase's frames turned out really well. They had a little bit more room to make mistakes. If it gets chipped later on, it's not gonna look bad. A spray paint job is never gonna be completely perfect. I was really stoked on the spray bike paint. I wasn't so sure how it was really different, but overall it just applied better. Make sure that you're really careful with your first spray though, because it does let out some gunk. Also remember that their colored paints are a little bit more dry, whereas their clear coat is more runny. I got a couple drips, I tried to fix them, it didn't work out. It's really not that noticeable, so you might just wanna leave them alone. If you end up with a really rough coat, you can wet sand it or use parchment paper. Be careful though, because you can take off the paint. If you're doing multiple colors, always start with your lighter color first. Evan and I did vinyl cutouts to do stencils. We had better luck with permanent vinyl than temporary vinyl. It didn't end up taking off any of the paint and it stuck a lot better. If you are doing any sort of stenciling or masking, it's easier to do a negative stencil than a positive stencil. That way you don't have to tape your whole frame off. When you're painting, do really, really smooth strokes. Don't do it like Parker does. Allow for a lot of time to dry in between coats and before you actually set up your bike and ride it. We certainly had a fun time building up these bikes. Big shout out to Squid. These frames are awesome. We're already riding them. Gonna put out a build video soon here, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you follow everybody in this video. Follow Foad, follow Squid. If you have any questions about painting your bike, drop a comment. If you guys want some Foad gear, head over to foadgang.com. And that's pretty much it. See you guys next time.